everyone. In this video, we are going to practice doing two different types of calculations. The first one is going to be to focus on actually doing the mass ratio and determining the mass ratio, but the second one is actually going to be to determine the mass percent or the mass percentage of something. Personally, I think the mass percentage or the mass percent of a compound is a little bit more um, informative or a more useful term, but sometimes people will give you community or information in terms of a mass ratio, so you need to be familiar with both terms. So our very first question just has to do with the mass ratio. So what is the mass ratio of carbon and methane? The first thing you had to do when attempting this problem is come up with your equation. So what we're going to do here is try to determine our mass ratio, so our mass of carbon in our total mass of our entire molecule. So in this case, it's our mass of methane, so CH4. And so when you're just doing a mass ratio, you don't have to incorporate that 100% or anything like that, so completely forget that. And so what you have to do here is just put your mass of carbon, which you get directly off the periodic table, so you have 12.01 grams. Again, this is always for one mole, so 12.01 grams. And then we're going to put it over the mass of methane, which is about 16.05 grams. Now please note there's only one carbon in methane, so I'm not going to do anything fancy with this. I can even write times one just to make sure that we're always incorporating that. You need to make sure that you you are not just doing the mass of carbon, you're doing mass of all of the carbons that are in that molecule. But lucky for us, there's only one, so this is pretty easy. So 12 divided by 16 is almost close to about three quarters, and so the actual mass ratio is 0 0.748. Now this is the mass ratio, but usually people would want to communicate in terms of mass percent, so usually what you would do is multiply that by 100 and then you would say, oh, it's about 74.8% carbon in methane, which I think is just a little bit easier of a term. So let's just dive straight into mass percent now. And so please tell me what is the mass percent of hydrogen in water? So the very first thing you have to do with this is come up with a molecular formula. Now hopefully you know water is H2O, hopefully I say it all the time, so hopefully you're familiar with this one. But now once you have your molecular formula, now you need to come up with an equation. So we're going to do our mass of hydrogen all over our mass of our entire molecule, which is H2O, but then please remember this is a percentage, so we have to multiply this times 100, okay? So now our mass of hydrogen is 1.01 grams. But stop here. This is where people mess up all the time. You have two hydrogens, so it's not just 1.01, it's 1.01 times two, okay? So that's actually 2.02 grams here, all over your total mass of water, which is pretty close to 18. I think it's just 18.02 grams, something like that. And again, there's just one water molecule, so we're not multiplying it by anything. So our total thing at the very end becomes 2.02 divided by 18 times 100. Let me make sure I put this in here too, times 100. So if we put this down here, and actually multiply that out, man, that got a little messy. So we have 2.02 grams divided by 18.02 grams, multiply times your 100, and if you do this properly, you get something like 11.21%, which is really just saying that out of all of water, about 11% of that is comprised of our hydrogen atoms. Everything else, so the other, what, 90%-ish is all oxygen, which would make sense if you back calculated that and did that in terms of oxygen. All right, let's do one more just to make sure we all understand. So what is the mass percent of carbon in octane? Go. All right, I'm gonna go through this one quickly because hopefully you understand it at this point. First thing you need is a formula which was given to us, thank goodness. We have C8H18. Now what we're going to do is the mass of carbon divided by the mass of our entire molecule, which was C8H18. This is mass percent, so you cannot forget to multiply times 100. All right, so let's plug everything in here. Carbon has an atomic mass of 12.01 grams, but there's eight different carbons in this molecule, so we have to multiply this times eight all over the mass of octane, which is close to 97.26 grams. Again, we have to multiply this times 100 because this is a mass percent. But if we do 12 times 8 divided by 97 multiply that times 100, we end up with a mass percent of carbon in octane close to 98.8%. So the majority of octane, this beautiful source of fuel, is almost 100% carbon. No wonder it's such a great source of fuel, right? All right, so that's mass percentage and mass ratio. If this this is still a little unclear, please stop, send me an email or make an appointment. Let's definitely talk about this because this is a skill you need to have mastered, especially when we move on to the next module and we start doing stoichiometry because that gets really hard really fast and we want to make sure that you're on top of this, okay? Have a great week. Take care of yourself and drink so, so, so much water.